when it comes to my makeup look and my foundation i do prefer a very understated natural kind of a look although i don't call this look an understated look it is very close to what i generally do on my channel and since a lot of you have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial here it is i've given you a breakdown of you know how i really do this it's it's very simple i feel the simple steps to achieving this look but uh, i think simplicity is what sometimes gets challenging so i'm going to break this down for you and i'm going to share my entire routine with you keep watching hey merry christmas everyone so i'm going to start off with prepping my skin which is most important just using any base that you want i'm using my shadow till breeze magic cream but anything that you like and when i use this normally i don't use a primer separately and yes please take care of your ear uh, you know your neck your entire face then moving on to a foundation which i got recently anything that closes uh, that matches closely to your own skin tone this is the most important and also how much you take please first go with really really little foundation on your face and when you apply it i feel that what works best for me is that when i just kind of you know blend it out it should not be visible on my skin at all it shouldn't if you want you can go you know 0.5 shade lighter for yourself if you wish but i prefer it to just even out my skin tone and make it look smooth and just make it look evened out that is what i feel my foundation should do and so that you know because the shades on the face can be different your forehead and your cheek and you know all of that to kind of bring it together to make it more balanced i feel that is the use of foundation and also to become like a space where yeah you can see right you can see the difference between my right and left side it is not drastically different if you are applying your foundation and half your face when you apply it you see that there is a huge color difference then please check if that is a look you want to go for um i don't find any merit in trying to look a lot lighter than what my skin tone is because it doesn't serve me well so you can clearly see that my right side is just looking refined and um, even doubt while my left side the same color you can see you know the uneven skin so that is what a flawless base does for you it makes you look natural even though you know when you've applied your foundation uh, it helps you to go ahead and put all the other things on the face like blush and stuff and of course please don't forget your neck and your ears i'm trying to help you create a look which will look very natural and also the concealer that i use i use this palette because it allows me to kind of um, you know mix the darker shade with the light if i've tanned a bit uh, this is from mac uh, you can use any uh, concealer but the choice i'm asking you to make is to go with a color which is closest to your own skin color if you're looking for a natural looking base that is what i do i just use this under my eyes i use my fingertips to just dab it and make sure that it's not overdone because i think that when you put too much of concealer it accentuates uh your wrinkles especially if you're i don't know even if you're younger in fact i feel for younger skin if you put too much makeup it just will not look natural it will look cakey it will look like you've put so much on your face and my idea of makeup is that it should accentuate your uh natural features to enhance your natural features and not make you look like somebody else so you can see my entire face and you can see the you know my arms the color of it is pretty much close you can see a close shot as well it's just my base and concealer so far yeah that's a natural base now moving on with a powder again when you try to use a powder i don't bake my face see to each his own i'm just sharing with you what i do to make it look really natural now even if you dip your uh, brush into it and there is so much of it on it if i directly go with that it can be too much in one spot so i kind of take off the excess at the back of my palm and then with very little just very little powder is required i've worked with a lot of very professional makeup artists um you know in the ad film space and feature films and the amount of makeup they use and what you generally see on youtube i feel is like drastically different just very little to just set that space to you know just make sure that your concealer is getting set 
I have not seen them use, you know, like huge amounts of powder or concealer. Uh, all of that doesn't work. Now I'm going ahead with my Hourglass loose powder. This has a slight, very, very little sheen. So I like to use this in the rest of my face, especially if it's a little glam uh, looking uh, look I'm going for. Again, out here, I'm going to take a little, and now this is so much on the lid but i will be taking it on my big the foundation brush it's not all that fluffy taking off the excess at the back of my hand so that i don't have too much and even now actually you see it is slightly patchy but then i'll make sure that i blend it out completely on my entire face and you can use a dabbing motion instead of uh you know like dragging it so that you're not moving your foundation and i use a very light hand again i'll go ahead with the same thing and if you choose if you want you can just set your forehead and nose if you have very dry skin so that you know you don't end up making your face too matte and dry looking but i have normal skin it is dry during winters but i have very heavily applied uh, the cream so i'm okay I, I i apply a lot of cream right at the beginning so that i can set my entire face because then the the blush and all of that goes on a lot smoother on top of the foundation so that was my base and now one of the most crucial things I find in a makeup look is the eyebrow. I take some time and I take some effort to do the eyebrows. You can see I've just applied a little and it already, uh, you know, makes my face be lifted up. So I take the time, I use a darker brown color. I do this and then definitely go ahead with the brush chin. Just even it out so that if there's anything which is, you know, little concentrated, it just overall makes it look a little more natural. Yeah, so, yeah, again, this look is all about uh, looking natural, looking like yourself. And I like doing that, otherwise I get very uncomfortable. Now, this is a beautiful... <laughs> Um, eyeshadow brush, I've mentioned it so many times on my channel, the K-Beauty Eye Crayon. I think this is a world-class product. I have oily eyelids and these eyeshadows have been such a joy. They apply, they blend smoothly, um, they have the most, they, they stay really long. And this is the shade Plush. I first, so I just use one or two shades and it just makes my eyes look great so i've just applied it roughly on my eyes and it's very quick that's what i like i like my makeup to be done quickly i don't have so much time i just take this uh, brush i just blend out the edges and if i feel that i want it to be a little more intense i will be going again uh, on top of uh, this eyeshadow you know so i just use this uh, blush and then i will be going on top of this with a little um, metallic or a shade which has a little sheen so that it, it you know has a little pearly shiny effect on top of my eyelids and I do have hooded eyes but this kind of a thing works well for me can you see the difference it's still it's still very uh, natural it's still very uh, wonderful now this is another shade that I'm using I'll, I'll list down all the details you can see it's beautiful I just love this it's got that subtle metallic shine that again I can just uh, apply it all over my eyelids and it will have that mild shine that I like and I really like these crayons um, like I said for my oily eyelids they don't you know move on top of the eyes they don't shift around I don't get those lines it just works perfectly well for me. So I'm still just showing this to you because without cutting it, because I want you to see that literally this is all I do. If you want, of course, you can go and highlight your eyebrows with a highlighter and all of that. But I am really still going for a natural looking glam makeup. So I don't end up highlighting stuff too much. Yeah, can you see that? It's. I think it's very pretty. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to just show this as simply as I can and uh, I'm dying to open my eyes yeah <laughs> so anyway then I move on and I apply a little eyeliner very thin line if you want you can go thicker but this tutorial is about looking natural and even the wing that I do is a very very small wing very tiny that just helps me make my eyes look slightly lifted 
and just gives a slight elongation. So if you want something that looks natural, then you should go for this. I, in fact, even like my other eye, which has no eyeliner at all, and very often I do that. But uh, so you know, sometimes I do use an eyeliner, and this is the star product for me recently. This is from Color Bar. I use this under my eyes, and then I smudge it off just because I want to line it, but I don't want it to be a stark black color. So this has been working very well for me because it smudges beautifully and then it doesn't budge at all once it's set. So uh, I like a natural product and then I just flick it on the outside, at the edge, so that that kind of joins my little wing I have made on the top. And you will just see when I look up how this works so beautifully. Yeah, just flick it up with that same smudge brush and you will see that it's joined and yeah it's quite a look this is in my books quite um, intense i don't normally apply too much eyeliner and then going with a highlighter now this i feel really makes or breaks your look for it to be looking naturally glam or for it to go over the top i feel that a lot of people do enjoy disco looking uh, highlighters and to each his own of course but i like this natural looking highlighter which gives me that glow but doesn't overtake my face and uh, I blend it out really well. I want it to be there but see I don't like any of my makeup to make itself felt or appear individually. I don't think that works too well for me. It should all come together and be like one team the entire makeup on my face. Uh, so I like this look and I do not go for the highlighter on my nose. I just don't do that so that I don't want my nose to be extra shiny. This is the K-Beauty Matte Blush in Sugar Candy. I've made a whole video on this. You can check that out and I really like how this blended. It looks very natural. So. And I, yes, I didn't go for contouring. I know a lot of people do ask me. I don't contour my face all the time. And everybody doesn't need to contour your face. You don't always need to do that. This is a fresh, natural look. So I didn't feel like doing a contour. Although it does make your face look slimmer. If you want that, please go ahead and do it. Uh, this look, I just didn't go for it. I wanted it to just look easy going. And of course, I will look a lot, you know, slimmer with that but it was okay i don't need to do it all the time this is the lipstick from k beauty i was actually using a lot of the new products i've got this is their uh, k beauty mad drama lipstick again i have swatched uh, these lipsticks given your detailed review i do like them so you can check that out but i have featured exactly how i feel about it and all the shades everything that i have used will be in the description box please do check that out I like this lipstick. I think it went well with the look. And then for the, once I finished all the powder products, that is when I go ahead and take care of my eyelashes, just uh, using the lash curler and then going with a really, um, you know, a mascara, which is waterproof because I have very moist eyes, watery eyes. I have to use a waterproof mascara. So doing it this with a little care so that I don't put it, you know, under my eyes and then keeping it open slightly for a bit till it settles. And uh, this is uh, what I practically do. The intensity of it is a lot less gently. Uh, but here, yeah, going ahead with the face mist which really brings everything together and this is the look this is how i get this natural looking glam makeup look i hope you really like this makeup tutorial i made this because you asked me to make you know some of the simple looks that i do and do give this a big thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's just your way of giving me your love because i'm really on a mission to help you feel good and look good on the outside as well and I do hope 2021 gives all of us all that we wanted and that we all feel confident about ourselves, the way we look, the way we are, inside out. And I'd be more than happy to create content that, you know, enables that in any way. Yeah. Take care. Have a great time. See you.